Anna Nelson here with You Found Grace, and I promised you guys some homeschool curriculum reviews. And so here I am. Before we keep going though, I'm going to put a link below to the original video of me um, showing you guys the curriculum I had chosen for my children. All the curriculum I chose for the year of 2017 through 2018, therefore that way you guys can watch it and come back and see the reviews versus just thinking I am reviewing random stuff. If one of my reviews are sponsored, I will let you guys know. I actually um, review only things that I like and then they give me the product. So none of this is sponsored. It's just stuff I chose and stuff that I'm letting you guys know what I liked, what I didn't like, and if we'll be using it next year. So for today, we're gonna start with Rod and Staff um, English. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. These videos are not gonna be really long. At the end of the video, I'll show you guys like a little silent clip of just turning of the page just so you guys can kind of see what it looks like on the inside. But it's gonna be very brief, nothing too exciting, you guys. So, when you buy Rod and Staff on their website, they have, um, they have a little like part of their website where you can buy clearance items because they're damaged. And by damaged, they mean like, I mean it's like, you can't even see it, like, because it's so, you see that wrinkle right there? That's clearance. So I bought all my kids' curriculums at the clearance um, part of their website for 30% off. And so what I did is we bought the children's manual, which is, this is, my, four, this is my, my teacher's manual, I'm sorry. And then it comes with a student book, which is a lot, which is smaller. And it also, you also need a notebook because they have write, written practice on there and you need some, something to write on. And then it comes for fourth graders, I believe third grade and up, it comes with worksheets. I might be wrong. Worksheets, but it also comes with test sheets. Um, again, it comes with a teacher manual, something they need to write on for written practice. This is my second graders curriculum. And the student's book. Now, let's start with the things that I really enjoyed about Rod and Staff. What I really enjoyed about Rod and Staff, number one, it's faith-based. So if you're Christian, um, you know, this is pr this is pretty good. They do speak about the Lord a lot here, which is something that I am very passionate about and I want to make sure, you know, that my kids get. So it's faith-based. That's the number one thing I liked about it. Number two thing I liked about it, it's affordable. It's not super expensive. Even when you don't buy it on clearance, I believe it's like 30 bucks for this whole thing. Um, even with, the, I'm including the spiral notebook. If you go to the clearance and you get lucky, even if you're able to get just one book for clearance and then buy the other uh, full price, it's still a good deal. So it's faith-based, it's affordable, and what I liked about it, your child is able to study themselves. This is set up to where your child can teach themselves. Um, especially, I believe, for second and third grade. Um, the only reason I would not um, encourage self like um, self teaching with the fourth grade is because in the teacher's manuals I'll show you in a little bit it gives you tons of details of things that you can teach or you should teach to your fourth grader to be able to understand the concept that is being taught in that lesson um, for example when we were learning about um, diagramming a sentence um, yes I looked through her lesson and she could get the idea but because of the way my my student learns my daughter she needed me to be there to give her the extra teaching portion and she understood. So if your child is, you know, the type of person that doesn't, you're not very high maintenance, um, definitely, but your student can literally grab their book, read the lesson, understand, and do their work. But if your child does need help, I would recommend that you sit down and do it with them. Um, so what I, what I loved about it, and just to recap a little bit, I tend to repeat myself because it helps me remember and it helps you guys listen, right? So number one, it's faith-based. Number two, it's affordable. Number three, your child is able to teach themselves, okay, for individual study. So those are the three great things that I love about the curriculum. Now, for every good, there is a bad, okay? Um, the one thing I will say about Ron and Steph, the one thing, we just one, we just one, it's not an all-in-one language arts curriculum. It does not have spelling, okay? It doesn't have all the other stuff that my state requires to teach. Therefore, I had to buy even more curriculum. I had to buy a writing curriculum. Well, you know, I didn't have to, but what I meant is I had to supplement with writing, spelling, because all this does is teaches basic English and how to diagram sentences and these parts of speech, and how to write a letter or, you know, how to 
written envelope, the outside of an envelope, but it didn't teach all the other stuff that is included in language arts curriculum. So I had to supplement, I had to buy other curriculum. And to me, that's pointless. <laughs> so I would say that is the only bad thing about the Rod and Staff curriculum. You'd have to go to their website and then buy the rest of their curriculum. And then you have a stack of books and then you have to use this book and then you're done and then you have to sit down and do this way. And it just, to me, that's just a no-go. So in conclusion, we will not be using this curriculum for the year of 2018, 2019. We will just not be using it. I have found something that'll work for us and I will be actually making a video on that, revealing my homeschool curriculum for this coming year because I've already bought all of it. <laughs> so <laughs> I, don't, I don't waste no time, you guys. So anyways, Rod and Staff, awesome curriculum you know if if you want something affordable Christian Christian based and something that your child can teach themselves this is for you however be aware that this is not a full language arts curriculum you do need to supplement um, you do need to have other stuff um, to be able to actually I don't know depending on your state uh, teach your child the whole concept of language arts now I'm gonna go ahead and sh um, just play some cute music while I flip through some pages and you guys see what it kind of looks like on the inside. I'm going to put a link below you guys on um, my comment area or description box more like um, to the website where you can buy this curriculum. I'm not paid for it. I'm just sharing it because it is not called Rod and Staff <laughs> even though I've been saying Rod and Staff website. So I'll just post it down below and that way if you're interested in buying this curriculum, go ahead. Um, again, I, I am not getting paid for clicks or nothing like that. It's just um, I wish somebody would have told me that it wasn't called Rod and Staff, even though you could Google it, Rod and Staff, and it takes you. I'm just going to give you guys a shortcut. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching this uh, language arts <laughs> English curriculum review for fourth grade and third grade with Rod and Staff. Make sure that you guys like, subscribe, and you guys keep watching for more reviews, okay, guys? And make sure you follow me on Instagram if you haven't. It's She Found Grace. I am taking a month break because I'm trying to get all this done. Um, so I'll see you guys soon. Bye.